Vlostov didn't have a preschool, so it started one. Village life can be lonely, even for little folks. At preschool, there's company and stimulation. Benefits extend far beyond coloring and games to mothers. Involving mothers in society and the workforce is one aim of Vlostov's village association. It obtained a grant to start the preschool as part of a World Bank project. And it's worked to break the isolation of village life for young and old. Thanks to this program, we have over 20 projects worth more than 300,000 zlotys. Targeting the youngest, as you can see here, as well as senior citizens. We took them on trips, we went to the cinemas and theaters, and to landscape parks. Many poles are well off, but large parts of the country remain poor. And social inclusion is a challenge, especially in rural areas. 500 of Poland's poorest communities got help through the $88 million World Bank project to design, fund and deliver social services that include the poor, the disabled and the marginalized. Communities prioritize. Businessman Marek Bargil noticed disabled youngsters on the sidelines of a running race and started organizing competitions for them at home and then away. You would be surprised to see how self-reliant those disabled children can be. They don't need much assistance, they get around very well on their own. We don't treat them as disabled and they do fine. The first grant comes with advice for keeping programs going, so communities have the know-how to obtain other funding. Communities like the Rural Housewives Circle in Samborsek, which includes men. It reaches out to neighboring villages and has organized trips, cooking demonstrations, folk dancing and therapeutic riding for kids. The project reaches across rural Poland. It helps communities and it inspires people like Jaroslav Paskowski to bring teens and adults together with music and to dream of opening a cultural center.